getting ready for the Ren Fair or any other time you may need a troll costume. How do you do it in one night? <laughs> we hope. Well, you get three yards of burlap and wow, this stuff has a smell and it's extremely flammable, so be careful with that. These, well, we know there's no glasses because have you ever seen a troll at the optometrist? Yeah, that's as good as the jokes get. A anyway, we're gonna take this apart and kind of do something with this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is when you buy the burlap and you can get it at a local fabric store, very, very easy, and it comes off the bolt. This is the width of it, right? It's really 47 inches wide, so that means you're gonna have to open it up. I got three yards, and we're gonna open it up and we're going to fold it. I'll show you. So now you can see how it's opened up. I have the closed end on top because that's going to be easier to cut the neck hole out of again. It's a troll. It doesn't need to be that fancy. And then we have the open end at the bottom. And then on the sides here, we are going to sew some side seams, leaving armholes. And then we're going to use pinking shears and kind of give them some character, so to speak. Let's go to the sewing machine. Now, normally when you sew something together, you would put the right sides of the material together so that you hide the seam on the inside. And while we are going to hide the seam on the inside, you can't really tell the right or the wrong side from the burlap. So we're just going to make, we're going to make a seam. We're going to figure out kind of where the arm should go, which I think is going to take us from like here to like here. And I've never held a camera while sewing, so this could be fun. So I decided it might not be best to hold the <laughs> camera while I'm sewing. So I put a pin where I'm gonna start and stop. And let's hope I don't knock over the camera. And we're gonna do a zigzag stitch because it's kind of loose weave, so to speak. All right, so let's see what we can do. So let's start and get down the sides. To the bottom, I notice that, and let me stitch up a little more and see what I'm about to tell you, that it's not really even, it doesn't match. Normally, panic would ensue, but I'm not worried. It's a troll costume, and we're going to be cutting the bottom with pinking shears, so you can just, it'll be fine. No worries. Now, one thing to keep in mind before you start sewing down the other side seam is make sure you measure how much you left open for the sleeve and then that's where I put the pin. So I gave about 10 inches and I don't know how rambunctious this troll is going to be. So um, I'm also going to take a needle and yarn when we go for the fitting tomorrow and we'll see if it works. So let's stitch down this side. So now you have to figure out where to put the neck hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half like this and we're gonna find the center point, or roughly, and then I measure the neck and the circumference of the head, and then you're gonna put a little notch in here, and we'll kind of cut out a neckline. I'll show you. And let's make a cut. All right, so now I know when I open this up that that's the center of the piece, and that's where I'm gonna start doing the neckline. So you'd want to measure the circumference of the person's head and their neck, so you kind of get an idea. So I'm working with around 25 inches, and again, here is our center. So I need equal sides on this side for the neckline and equal on that side. So you just take your tape measure or ruler or whatever you have, and at the cut line, make it 12 and a half. And then you know you come over here and you make a cut, and you come over here and make a cut, and you'll have enough for the neckline. So we have our neck, neckline cut out. So remember the bottom, obviously we left it open, but it's not even, so now you decide what you wanna do. I'm gonna kind of, I think, cut it and make it jagged, um, but you can do whatever you want. But I, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it a little jaggedy kind of thing, very technical sewing term on the bottom. Okay. Now, obviously you don't want this to look too plain. So, you know, you're just kinda gonna cut out whatever shapes, wherever you want, you know, that kind of a thing. Maybe cut up here maybe make a strip, whatever it is that you think you want. And of course, depending on the height of your troll, you may have to cut some more at the bottom. So once you're done doing the bottom, then you turn it inside out. So the seam is now on the inside. 
you've kind of, you can see, you've kind of formed a little bit of an armhole. Again, raggedy, not worried. We've got the neckline, and I'm taking the scissors with me because we can make it jaggedy if we want, or if we need to make it a little bigger, we can. And even if you made it too big, you can very easily get embroidery thread and just, you know, whip stitch this closed. Crazy easy. So there's the bottom, all different. Now, let's get to the nose without these glasses. So here's what we're gonna start with, the little Groucho Marx glasses that have obviously seen better days. And we're gonna take the nose off, and then this little bugger here just looks like, you know, we should have some hair, because that would be really attractive on a troll. Now, don't ask me how we're gonna attach the nose, that's an issue for tomorrow, but we are going to take this off, see how easy that was, and then we're going to take off the mustache. Let's see if that's any easier or if I need to get some tools. No, nope. that seems to be, oh, poor guy. That seems to be coming off pretty good. Okay. Now you could, but it's not going to look right. You can't just do this. This looks a little too weird. So let's do some stuff with this. Well, I'm thinking that I want the hair to be not so soft, if you know what I'm saying. So I have spray starch and a protective mat and let's see if this works let's spray a little and let's see what we can do here it's kind of it should look kind of disgusting which i'm thinking ooh that's kind of close all right so let's see if we can cut some off Make it just a little bit, you know, play around with it till you get what you want and what you see in your head for hair <laughs> coming off of a nose. Okay, so we have the nose, we have the hair that we did a little spray starch on, and I also trimmed it a little bit, and my trusty glue gun. Seriously, these things get really, really hot. I have scars on my arms to prove that. Please, please, please be careful. If you're doing this with kids, this is the part where the adult should totally take over. Now, this is plastic. It's not gonna take much glue to melt it. So, you gotta be kinda quick. So let's put a little bit there. You can already see it kinda starting to go. And then grab this, careful not to touch. If you have something like this, that you can press down and it's not your fingers, that would be great. Okay. And there you have it. A troll nose with a really super duper attractive hair. And that's it. Like I said, you can get this at a local fabric store. It's not that much money and it's burlap in a troll costume. Have some fun, use your imagination. You can make it do pretty much whatever you want. And with all of this, you can make it work, so happy costume making.